Okay, good evening everyone who's joining us in the audience and on online for our December 2023 monthly meeting. We're already at the end of the year. Um, just a note, the we were originally scheduled to have our reorganizational meeting tonight because of travel and family commitments of two other trustees. We have a bear quorum tonight. Um, so we have rescheduled the organizational meeting for when we have a full board in session next week at seven o'clock. And that'll also be um, here at Village Hall and online. So may I have a roll call, please, yeah. clerk? Trustee Bosey. Here. Trustee Primark. Here. And Mayor Foley. Here. Okay. Um, opportunity to request a vote to add or modify an agenda item. If I might ask, Irene, are you um, here to, would you like to ask about Window decoration. Yes. <laughs> so I would make a motion to add um, under our business a request from the Boy Scouts related to holiday decorations. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Just make a note so I don't forget. That means it's on the agenda, or it means that we will take it up. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And then it'll be part of board business on number. Um, announcements. Tomorrow is the last. Um, yard waste pickup day. So if you haven't gotten it out before, now is the time. Um, we will have instructions related to Christmas trees as we get closer to the holiday. Um, but if you have any bags of leaves left, tonight is the night. Just a reminder, paper bags, not plastic. Um, Royal will also dump out of bins, but no plastic bags. All right. Um, I would like to begin with gratitude um, to our to three members of our staff in particular, um, Karen Herbert, who's with us tonight as clerk, um, Michelle Ascalillo and Anne Bouchard, who have been um, coming together to cover in travel and illness, other staff, and have been putting in a lot of extra hours. And I'm, I'm grateful to you for keeping the village afloat and operating. Um, reports from village departments. The accountant has asked for additional time for this month. She is still working on uh, quarter closing analysis. So we have no report from her this evening. Roadways and facilities. Karen, I can't see who's who's on. Are you able to do we have um the roadways and facilities crew chief on? I um it's probably yeah. just a change of the way that we're viewing it rather than Bugsy if are you there? Okay, he may not be. I will go quickly through his the highlights of his report. Um, mm -hmm. Their their activity has been primarily. Um, we may have to let. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause till you. Oh no, yeah. sure. just leave it like that, and then that okay. way we can see if anyone else comes yeah. in or in the favor. Thanks. Sorry, the way you were Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Well, Thank you, you, Trustee Bozzi. Mm -hmm. Um. So our roadways and facilities crew chief is not here, but um, all of the reports for all of the departments and. Standing boards are available as part of the backup packet online tonight, so I'm not going to go through them in full, but just to highlight, you will have seen that the roadways and facilities crew has been um, getting signs in place for resident parking. Um, they've also been prepping all the vehicles for snow, um, and we're going to come back to um, the question of plowing at the end of the agenda under board business. Um, water and wastewater. We do not have Matt Krug. Um, our uh, sampling is all in good standing for the month. They've made a number of repairs at the wastewater treatment plant that are beneficial. I wanted to thank Matt. Um, we were able to offer some mutual aid to Phillipstown today <laughs> rather than the other way for a change. Um, Matt, making sure he's not there. Matt, um, there was a there was a pipe break at the recreation center um, and the exact location of the pipe of the break on the pipe on the lawn was not known. So before they began to dig, they requested assistance to find um, the location of the pipe. Matt was able to do that. Sure. Saved a lot of effort. I'm happy that we were able to help build sound for once. Um, code enforcement, no report this month. Police department, officer in charge, Bert. Good evening, everybody. Um, we're going to go through a couple things real quick. Uh, calls for service are about normal, 64. Uh, your date is uh, 679. There were two larcenies. One was a grand larceny of a motor scooter. Um, that was taken from one of the residents. Uh, that had, report was done and passed on to the BCI, which is the investigators for the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. They were working on that. 
Uh, the other one was a larceny of uh, more of a shoplift. Uh, the owner got the 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 uh, items back, so it still was down as a larceny. But due to the the um, the camera. Looking at um, the summonses for the month, we had a total of 116 for a total for the year for 900. Other than that, I have nothing else to report. Um, I would like to just recognize Veronica Belinsky, um, who was the parking enforcement officer last summer, two summers ago. Time is passing fast. Yep. At any rate, she this week she is a cadet in the sheriff's department, and this week she was named the first um, female. It's not commander. She is the officer in charge among the cadets. She's oh. the first time a female has been in that position in Putnam County. Um, and we are very proud of her. She was really excellent at her job here in the village. And I'm um, glad to see her star rising. Fire company. Karen, if we can adjust the camera so that the chief is on screen. And Chief, chief Phillips is with us. You're, are you good back there? You want to come up? Not okay. good. Not uh, much. I yeah. all last month. So nothing too crazy. Um, just keep in mind if you have a Christmas tree, try to keep it watered. Please don't put candles on it. Keep it away from the fireplace. But see it it's the holiday season. I feel like you guys have been uh, addressing a lot of car accidents of late. I feel like 90 has been on. Yeah, it's just that time of the year. Yeah. A lot of cars on the road. So. Thank you. Um, Justice Court income this month, 8378 with the mandatory surcharges. From New York State. Um, and this is the month every year the court undergoes an audit. Um, it's done by the audit committee. Two members of the village board meet with the justice and the clerk to review the financial records of the court. Trustee Bozy was part of that. Um, so if you if there's anything you want to highlight from that review, you can. Um, and then we have a motion related to a motion related to the accepting of the audit. Is there anything, any comment you want to make about the audit? Uh, just that uh, the office is remarkably organized. Um, so it makes the audit process quite easy. We've got it down to a science. Yes, quite so. And would you like to make, the to make the motion? I will read it. Yes. Right. Okay. Resolution 38 2023, accepting the FY 2022 23 audit. Of the Justice Court. The following resolution was offered by Laura Bozy and for adoption and seconded by. Trustee Friedmark. To wit, whereas Section 2019A of the Uniform Justice Court Act requires that town and village justices annually provide their court records to their respective town and village auditing boards and that such records be examined and audited. And whereas the Village of Cold Spring Auditing Committee conducted an audit of the court records for the fiscal year ending May 31, 2023, whereas the results of this audit were submitted to the Village Board of Trustees at a public meeting held on December 13, 2023, now therefore be it resolved, the Village of Cold Spring Board of Trustees accepts the, reports, the report of the audit of justice court records and instructs the clerk to forward the findings to the New York State Office of Court Administration as required. And it's a roll call vote, clerk. Trustee Bosey? Aye. Trustee Freimark? Aye. And Mayor Fulton? Aye. And uh, Trustee Starbuck is noted as absent, and Trustee Phillips is noted as absent. So it passes 3 0 2. Okay, moving on to our standing boards and committees. Um, we're heading into the quiet season, although it has not been quiet for. HDRB, um, lots of good stuff happening around the historic district. Um, two new solar arrays were went into the historic district, were approved in the historic district this month. Um, and then there is forward motion on um, sort of one of the oldest parts of the village and one of the most <laughs> treasured parts of the village. Some of the some of the foundry worker housing on Kemble Avenue. One of them has been got a new siding and window scheme um, in keeping with the district standards. And then one of the village, the real village treasures on the corner of Chestnut and Main um, is receiving some much needed love and attention and you know, an ADA grant that's no longer needed was requested to be removed. Um, I would like to recognize two members going off the board um, at this time. Lord De Lloyd de Grise served for five years. We're very grateful for his service. Um, and he's a very uh, skillful 
communicator and negotiator with applicants. And Andrea Connor, um, alas and alack, is moving out of the village and will no longer be um, able to serve. <laughs> yes, so um, thank them both. Andrea's been here since 2015, um, a tremendous record of service to the village. They will both be missed and we are grateful to them. Um, planning board had no meetings this month, so is, there is no report. ZBA had a session and because of travel stranded conditions, was not able to have quorum, so that had to be canceled last minute, unfortunately. The um, CBA will meet in special session on the 21st to accommodate the applicant who was inconvenienced by that. Tree Advisory Board um, has been working for some time on uh, concerning six trees on village owned property at the corner of B and Mountain. Um, it did resolve in their recent session. Um, and they'll be making a recommendation to us for what to do with the trees under discussion. Um, in January, it looks like January that the winter, the off season pruning will start taking place. So you will see um, Jen and the arborists doing that work around the village beginning at some point in January. Rec Commission had a very quiet month other than a fantastic tree lighting. Thank you very much. Our events coordinator um, who works very closely with the Rec Commission is here tonight, Lillian. Um, otherwise, otherwise quiet, but it was a, it was a great time. It's beautiful at the waterfront and thank you to the fire company for bringing Santa and Mrs. Claus. Okay, that's it from our standing boards. Updates from municipal and government partners. It's also going to be quiet tonight. The Phillips Town, Town Board is in session and workshop tonight and holding a public hearing, uh, a moratorium on applications for oil storage in Phillips Town. I want to consider how those, um, sit within our watersheds, et cetera. Um, so that's ongoing as we as we meet here. So no report from Bob. There is a written report in the public record. Uh, no report from our legislator this evening. I believe she is in session as well. Um, board business. We seem to be, um, I note that we are, we do not have uh, reports from trustees. Sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, skipped right over, thank you. Um, this is there's so much that you have to report on this month. Um, shall we let just turn this to you for the for the moment? We have good good updates on dam repair um, progress. Yeah, so let's um, we'll start with that. Um, we're continuing to address our high hazard dams. We recently received um, reports from Tectonic, our engineering um, consultants, uh, the latest safety inspection reports for the upper and lower dam. So. Um, Good news on the lower dam, it's in um, reasonable condition and it hasn't changed, but um, unfortunately the upper dam um, condition is fairly poor and it's um, uh, and it has gone has worsened since the last report in 2016. So um, so we're actively working to address it. Um, it's not a short process. You've heard us say that before, but um, but we're we're diligently working through the steps for that. Um, and we'll put those reports up on the village website so that they are available to review. Um, and then I'll mention a couple of other things as well. Go for it. Um, uh, the village received an award um, with Phillips Town from the Hudson Valley Regional Council, and I meant to bring the little the little award, and I forgot it. Uh, but it was for our partnership, especially on sustainability and energy efforts. Um, so we appreciate our Phillips Town partners very much, and um, appreciate their recognition. Um, and on that note, also to say that we received another $5,000 grant from Nicer to Clean Energy Communities. That brings us up to $35,000 total. Um, I'll, I'll um, make a, a sort of proposal to the trustees soon about um, ways that we could spend that, that newest uh, $5,000 grant. And that's this is really your effort. This has been your initiative, and thank you very much for bringing in much needed dollar. Sure, and um, you'll hear later uh, soon about an effort where I hope to bring in more village volunteers to be working on this uh, with me. It's really but, uh, impressive. Yeah, it's, really yeah impressive. it's great. I mean, and thanks to the state for making it something that is doable, including for small municipalities. So, you know, it's sometimes hard to compete, but we can do it here. It is Trustee Farmer's first monthly meeting. Welcome. Um, Thank you. Nothing to report, perhaps, but any comments before we? The chair is pretty comfortable. The chair's pretty comfortable. <laughs> they're like they're like Star Trek chairs, I think. Uh, okay. Sometimes the babies are long, so you know you want to come to the chair. 
Um, what am I working on? I am continuing to work with um, FEMA and DISHES, uh, Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services on our FEMA claim. Um, our damage inventory is complete. We're now uh, signing off on the damage reports for each of the locations. Um, and now we sort of wait for the engineers to, to bring forward the um, in-kind replacement and then the um, hazard mitigation resiliency proposal. So that's, there's going to be some quiet for a time. Um, there's been fun. Uh, so the next phase of reviewing those reviewing those reports, the timeline is is generous, mm -hmm. um, is date by the end of January mm -hmm. for the for for that review, and then the, I believe the initial um, the initial engineering review has some time after that. I'll confirm with Michelle and I mean I mean not with Michelle but with Chris Hartnett and figure it out. Um, and we will probably be seeing a proposal come forward soon from um, Jersey Recovery Associates for continuing our relationship with them. Okay, um, so now we move on to board business. Um, we are looking to hire a new full-time deputy clerk. I would like to make, like to make a motion mm -hmm. to uh, hire Kelly Pology as that full-time deputy clerk at a rate of $24 an hour um, and with the possibility of um, an additional dollar at the end of the probationary period for the position. Any discussion? I, I think we're eager to have her start. We are indeed. Um, and it sounds like she comes with really great uh, um, qualifications and, and, and uh, recommendations. Right, yeah. Then um, that is my motion. Would someone like to second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Kelly is able to start part-time on Monday. She can work part-time through the end of the year and then will be joining us full-time after she finishes up her other work engagements. Wonderful. Very, very excited. She comes with clerking experience from um, Beacon City School District and from Phillips Town. Yeah. It's going to be somebody that the public interacts with. Yes, yeah. yeah. yeah, she will. Exactly. Okay, the next is uh, turn back to you, Laura, related to the sort of clean energy grants. Great. Uh, so as we've talked about in previous sessions, we have um, three small grants that add up to $25,000 through the nice sort of clean energy communities program. And we are proposing um, uh, three activities with it, install four EV chargers, uh, create a pilot food scraps recycling program and purchase 10 new street trees. So um, the letter that is in the packet uh, is for the mayor to sign this letter of commitment. Then we will, um, if approved, we will um, apply. Once it, I expect this to go through fairly smoothly, um, it's typical things in this program. And then once that goes through, then we can review as a board the quotes for the EV chargers um, and adopt that um, you know, once we have the funding secured. Um, so this vote is uh, for the mayor to sign the uh, letter. No, actually, this raises a question that I didn't consider before this evening, which is I don't know that I can vote to authorize myself. And there are only two of you. So this we may have to we do have to table this until next week. So we could vote on it next week. Next week we could. Yeah, we can edit to the agenda. So I would make a motion. Great. Thank you for the presentation. I make a, I might, I make a motion to table until the 20th. A second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that something we need clarification on if you can find out? I'm yes, absolutely, but I'm almost positive that I that I can. And mm -hmm. we didn't think about it. Um, right. We have the opportunity to do it next week. Okay. There's a few of these. Um not that our agenda. Oh, you know what? Can we pause? Can we just to make sure because we also have the authorization for Highlands Current. Can we pause and contact the senior clerk to, to make sure that I am able to vote on those? Okay. Um, I'll take a we'll take a five minute recess to do that to make sure we're following process properly. Do we need to? Have a yes, motion? I make a motion to uh, recess for five minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 